Who makes the best Class 8 truck in the business? Packar does. First off, they've got the best dealership network available. They've got usually both Pete and Kenworth dealers in the same town, which doubles the number of dealerships available to you. And because they control less market share than Freightliner, those two dealerships are usually a little easier to get into rather than the, the lonely Freightliner dealer that's just booked with problems all the time. You can wait a couple weeks to get into a Freightliner dealer. They advertise 24-7 service and you still can't get in for a couple weeks. So while that's a great sales pitch, it's no good if you can't get in. I've never been in a situation yet where when I needed to, I couldn't get into a Packard dealership. Because they have better quality control of their vehicles, it also means that they're building a better truck so you're experiencing less downtime, less shop time. And that is highly important when you're buying a truck. They've got the best classic truck appearance. They've got the best aerodynamic truck appearance. They're building their own engines now, which means uh, it's kind of like one-stop shopping. If you need repairs or warranty work, you can go in for engine work or truck work. The cabs have the best seal in the industry. They're the best insulated. Look at the wiring and the routing of the airlines. Best in the industry. Less trouble because they're properly rooted. They're better rooted they're, and they're wrapped, protecting the lines from chafing. Freightliner right now controls 30 37%, a little better than 37% of market share. But they've been losing market share over the last few years. And it's because they, ha they initially had better than 50% of the Class 8 market. And that was because they could mass produce trucks at a lower price. But the problem has been there's been poor build and poor quality control in the Freightliners. Truck buyers now just can't afford the downtime with the profit margins so thin. So Freightliner has steadily been losing market share to Packard and Packard now controls about 28% of market share. Now there are some little guys in there picking away Volvo, Mac, uh, International for instance, they all have about each 10% of the market share. Really the big players are Freightliner and Packard. Even the fleets are starting to get away from Freightliner because A, they can't afford the downtime and B, they're trying to attract drivers and drivers are as hard to find as hen's teeth. So even the big fleets, are like Stevens Transport in Dallas, even those mega fleets buy quality Packard equipment now and a lot of that is because they need to attract the drivers and they need to retain the drivers. And no one's gonna, no one's gonna jump from a brand new T680 at Stevens to a Freightliner at Swift Transport. It's part of retaining your drivers. Also the downtime, while it's important to the little guys, it's important to the big guys too. And it's pretty frustrating, I would think, if you've spent you know, a few million dollars at Freightliner and then you can't get the trucks into the shop when they break. And, and that's, you know, that's costing Freightliner market share. But why is Packard the best and gaining more and more of the market share? The primary reason is because they're experiencing less downtime. And these days, with freight rates being in the bottom, you've just got to maximize the use of your equipment and you just cannot afford downtime. And the big guys and the little guys are going to Packard because they're experiencing less mechanical issues with their trucks than they were with Freightliner, Volvo, Mac. International's been a disaster as far as breakdowns and emissions are concerned. So they're staying with a known quantity. Packard has been around for years. These trucking companies need to survive. They need to nickel and dime their way through this recession. And they're buying stuff that works for them. And that's why Packard makes the best truck these days. Because you can bet on it to make you money. And that's the bottom line. Packard does in-house financing as well. They do their own financing. And that's a huge time saver. In the course of my career, since 84, I've been buying Packard equipment. I've never had one lemon. I've never had one I was disappointed in. I've never had bad service from a dealership. I've never had major mechanical issues. I've had good trucks every time I bought one of their trucks. And a couple of them I've run for 10 years plus. In fact, including the one I'm running now. is a 2004, still runs flawlessly. Never had any warranty issues with any of them. 
They've been excellent trucks for me. They've all made me money. And that's what I'm in the business for, is to profit. If I did have an issue with any of my Packard trucks, they stood behind me 100%, warrantied it, and I was on my way again. I know that the Freightliners are just cheaper to get into these days. I also know a whole lot of guys that have gone the Freightliner route and have had a whole lot of issues with them. And some of them Freightliner has just stepped away and said, well, live with it, deal with it. They haven't been able to fix it, so they just dumped it back on the owner operator and said, well, good luck to you. Let me tell you an example of one little experience I had with Freightliner. A buddy of mine and I were getting ready to go load in Salinas in the morning. I had a Pete, he had a Freightliner. They're both the same age, virtually the same mileage. We go to leave the lot, he pushes in the clutch, and the clutch linkage snaps. So not a big problem, something we can, we can get to and still make our appointments. We took apart his clutch linkage, and I couldn't believe how thin the metal was, how thin the rods were on his clutch linkage. So thinner than pencils, whereas mine were, were quite beefy, maybe the size of my, the diameter of my finger here. But this Freightliner was put together with such flimsy parts, no wonder they were a little lighter. Just everything was always an issue with them because they couldn't take the pounding from the road. And Packard just builds a sturdier piece of equipment. And when you're pounding in 500, 800,000 miles, it's important to have sturdy equipment. Now maybe for short haul work, if you want to save a little money, you could get away with buying a Freightliner. But in my experience in long haul, you had to have a good quality truck to do long haul and make money. You needed to be able to rely on the thing. I've always bought Packard stuff and it never let me down. The mark of a good truck is, if it's making you money, that's a good truck. But also remember, you can't beat a sweet peat. Take care, drivers, and I'll see you on the backhaul.